Hello, my name is Kamal Bhatt and I am working as a software product manager at Stories. Today I will speak about how to install Orca, which is an open source orchestration solution for Sonic switches. As you can see in the diagram, Orca has majorly four components. Orca UI, a React based user interface. Orca backend, Python Django based server to serve the user requests. Orca network library, GNMI client implementation to perform CRUD operations on Sonic switches and update the database. Neo4j database to store network topology and real-time device and network information. Out of those four components, users need to set up only three. Orca UI, Orca backend and Neo4j database. Orca network library we need not to explicitly install as it is published on pyp.org and declared as a dependency of Orca backend project. Let us first install Neo4j. On our GitHub page, you will be able to find all the source code repositories related to project Orca. Let us open the repository Orca backend. In the documentation of Orca backend, under the section install Neo4j, there is a docker command to start Neo4j in a docker container. Simply copy the command and paste on the terminal of the machine where you wish to run Neo4j database. In a few seconds, Neo4j container should be started. User can also access the web console of Neo4j by hitting the port 7474 of the host machine. Once the Neo4j server is ready, you will be able to see the login page. The login credentials are same as passed in the docker command used to start Neo4j docker container. After successful login, a empty Neo4j database can be seen. Next, we will install Orca backend. Orca backend uses Poetry to install the required dependencies. Poetry can be simply installed using pip. Here it is already installed. Next, clone or download Orca backend source code and install its dependencies. Poetry by default installs all dependencies in a virtual environment. Before we start Orca backend server, activate the Python's virtual environment created by Poetry. Once the virtual environment is activated, start Orca backend Django server. By default, the server is started on localhost. To access the server from remote devices, let's start Orca backend on a desired IP. Here I am starting server to make it reachable on all the addresses. Once started, let's access server's web portal. As you can see, it is showing this allowed host exception. To resolve the error, let us allow all the host names for now in settings.py file. And restart the Django server. Now on browser, you will be able to see all the URLs supported by server. Let us try device URL to list all the devices. Here response is empty because no devices are discovered yet. The URLs listed are the rest endpoints which may take query parameters as well. Those endpoints are consumed by Orca UI which we are going to see next. To run Orca UI, first you need to install npm, which is a package manager for JavaScript. Then clone or download the Orca UI source code. npm install command installs all the dependencies required by the Orca UI.
Now, before starting the Orca UI, let us configure the Orca backend address in the file backend rest url.js as shown on the screen. Now simply type npm start to run the UI. It might take a while to start. Once started, access the UI at default port 3000 of the machine where UI process is hosted. Now let us try to discover a sonic switch. To do that, click on the top right corner of the screen on the button discover network and provide the IP of one of the switch connected to rest of your topology. In the background, Orca discovers the whole topology to which this device is connected using LLDP protocol. Check the Orca backend logs to know the discovery progress. Once discovered, the devices present in the topology will appear on the UI. Click on the details button to further investigate the configuration of the devices. Here you can also apply desired configuration. You can discover more devices to Orca after initial discovery as well. All the devices in the network can also be discovered at once by providing the network address instead of individual device IP. Devices Components links are stored in Neo4j database, which we already saw in the Orca introduction video. Link to that video is in the description. This was how to install Orca, configure and discover your devices in Orca. Hope you find the video informative. For issues related to Orca, feel free to register issues on our GitHub repository pages. Thanks for watching.